Whoa, this looks so weird. Hi guys, how are you today? My name is Bailey Sarian. Like and subscribe. Thank you. I'm not wearing any makeup today because all of my brushes are dirty and they need to be washed. But I don't wanna wash them. So instead, I bought this brush cleaner machine. So this is the Lumia. So this cleans up to 12 brushes. It rotates clockwise and counterclockwise. So it rubs your brushes on that little cleaning pad down there, gets all the dirt, grime, and makeup out of your brushes, cleans them, and guess what, ladies and gentlemen? You don't have to do a damn thing. Isn't that magical? This could be the answer to all of our questions all of our questions. This could be the answer to all of our complaints. What's the word I'm looking for? What is that? Problem. Problems! That's why you're here, Nick. See, that's why you're here. So this machine, right now it's on sale for $129. They also recommend that you get the specific brush cleaner as well, and this goes for $39.99. If this works as well as it says it does, then I feel like it could potentially be worth it. Okay. Yeah, so I'm here to test this out. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so this egg pops right off and I'm just gonna follow the directions directly from the website because I don't wanna mess this up and I wanna give it like an honest review. So step one is to pour warm water into the water hole. So right here we have a water hole and it says to fill right below the max line. Where's the max line? Boom, I think. Okay, and then it says to pour two ounces of the cleanser diluted with one ounce of water. What am I, a chemist all of a sudden? Like, am I right? Okay, so, I already forgot. Oh. Two ounces of soap, why is it, okay, shut up. One ounce of warm water. Okay, I'll be right back, let me get some water. With one ounce of warm water directly into the, oh, I pour it directly onto the cleaning disc. Really? You have to pour it directly onto the clean disc. <clears throat> okay, next step two is to prep. So they are saying that you need to wipe down your dirty brushes before you put them into the machine to wash them, just to get off any excess makeup. Get off as much as you can before washing them, essentially. When you wash brushes in your sink at home, you wanna do this as well, but I made sure to bring brushes that weren't extremely that weren't expensive. Because last time I used that cleaning machine on an Amazon review, remember I used like brushes that were actually expensive? That was stupid on my end. So I was just watching one of their YouTube videos to make sure that I'm doing uh, this brush part right. And the lady put the cleaner directly into the cleaning mat, but she didn't dilute it with water. So on their website, it says to dilute it with water. And then on their YouTube video, she didn't dilute it with water. I'm already, I feel like I'm messing up. Anyways, the center part comes out. And what you're gonna do now is put your brushes through the holes. I wish I could just put my brushes like in the dishwasher or something. That would be amazing. I have so many brushes, it's disturbing. I have an obvious problem. But I feel like this machine could be good for the normal person out there who maybe just has like a handful of brushes. But for me, I need a freaking dishwasher. My life is just so rough. Oh, let's get a good shot of how dirty my brushes are so we can do a good comparison. So this one, and we got like this one. It's These are supposed to be white. These are supposed to be white. We got some concealer brushes. I'm going to place this back in here. Now in the directions, it says that the brushes need to be engaged with the cleaning mat. Engaged meaning soon to be married. Also, not smushed. And you're supposed to twist and rotate the brush on the mat. So apparently this is supposed to do the whole cleaning in 15 minutes. The only thing it does not do is dry the brushes. Missed opportunity, but that's fine. Oh, my burrito. Ignore that. We're gonna push the button. So it's pretty much just going back and forth. So let's let this go through with the whole process and see what happens. It's squirting on my burrito. It sucked out all the dirty water and now it put in clean water. Wow, impressive. I guess we're going for round two now. Has it already been 15 minutes? Anyways, so it's done, it turned off by itself. So this is the part where like, I feel like they should have some kind of 
drying system, right? Or is that just me? Am I asking too much? It might be. The brushes are still soaking wet, so you have to make sure to take them out, squeeze out all the excess water. Oh, this one still has some makeup on it, but it did a pretty damn good job. So I'm just gonna give it a little squeeze. Just look how clean that is. Besides that right there, we got some makeup left over, but for the most part, and even like in the center of it, here are my nails as well. Even in here, normally makeup will be stuck in here. It got it all out. Okay, so I was reading in the directions that you could technically leave them in here and let them air dry. I'm gonna lay them out because that's how I like to clean my brushes and I wanna reshape them. This one got a little frayed, still a little dirty. Would that bother you? If I'm OCD. If you're OCD. I just don't know, sometimes I want a second opinion because like would this bother somebody or is that like, I would use it on myself, but if it was like for my makeup artist kit, like my freelance kit, I that's not acceptable. Oh, this one's pretty clean. We got some makeup still back there. I don't think I would use this on like natural hair bristles. I don't know if I would trust this with expensive brushes, I won't lie. This one kind of got messed up. Half of it's white, half of it's brown, and she's frayed. Okay, we can't all be winners. Oh, this one's bad. No. R.I.P. Like this is a Morphe brush. No offense if you use Morphe brushes, but they're not the highest quality. Um, and usually what I'll do, once they dry and if the bristles are still frayed and awful, I'll take some tweezers and pluck the frayed hairs. Nice. Oh no, this one looks awful. This one was filled up with concealer, but look at it. It's super frayed now. I feel like this might be trial and error. Like maybe I had them too smushed to where it frayed the brush. And then some of them look good. Like this one didn't fray at all. This one's done. It's officially checked out. All right, so then you just leave your brushes out to dry. There is a little tank in here that you pull right out and you're supposed to dump all the dirty water. I don't wanna dump it on myself and knowing my luck, I'll do that. So let me just leave that in there. You wanna clean the mat so this comes right out. If you only have like 15 brushes to wash, you're probably better off doing it by hand. You do waste a little bit more water, which is the downside. You do waste a little bit more time because you this is just doing it for you. The bright side is your brushes won't be frayed. So pros and cons here. If you get this machine, you run the risk of damaging your brushes, but you save on water, you save on time, but $130. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think this is worth it? Do you think it's a good product? Do you think it's a bad product? But other than that, hope you have a good day. Make good choices and I'll see you guys later. Oh wait, another thing. Is there something better than this or is this the only brush cleanser on the market? Let me know down below. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.